Morning, guys. Welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. What a glorious day. Well, as you know, real farmers get up at real early in the morning. We get up at five. That's a big word. It's a big word. <laughs> the fuck's she coming out with? So anyway, we, real farmers, that's us, we get up at um, five o'clock in the morning. And um, when the sun's coming up, then we're out doing our work. So most of our day's over now, and it's seven o'clock. So we had all the corn drying on, on the tarpaulin over here, in this area here. But I done a um, moisture test on it yesterday and it was still only 15.2. So it wasn't low enough for what I wanted. So I said to Chick, right, tomorrow morning I'll pack it all up and take it down the front, which I've done. So I've taken it down the front, washed all this down, and um, I've got all these other sacks over here, next to the carpet. I've got another four sacks to take down there after we do the milking. So they can go on the concrete. Now the concrete will dry better because the concrete gets hot, of course, and it's working from the radiated sun both sides. So that's done. Right, Miss Piggy's on the new food. She's on the new tucker that we brought it to, um, yesterday. And she's on a good tucker too. The, um, what do they call it? The highest quality you can buy, you get for your animals, guys. What's that, um, what's that food that the um, ag people supplied us with for the pig? That was called premium extra no, or? Expert. expert. Yeah. So that was called expert. Now, Fucking Philippines, right? They've got to exaggerate everything, you know, like expert. So what Chick ended up buying was a better grade, which is premium. So there you go. Premium is a better food. It's more weight, more vitamins and minerals. So premium is better than expert. Isn't that fucking amazing the way the Filipinos exaggerate everything out? You know, like, wow. Like, it's not very long, but Christ, it's wide, she said. <laughs> oh, dirty bastards. Right, so I've got some warm water here. We're pulling out um, Molly. Every morning, we pull out Molly, and this is all the tucker, tucker for the goats for breakfast. So, like I say, if you're going to be a farmer, guys, you've got to be hands-on. There's a lot of work you have to do. You know, but I'll tell you, I wouldn't give it up for fucking quids. So, Molly, darling... We're milking her by hand every morning, and hang it first. <laughs> hang it first. Right, so we'll hang that. Then we'll talk. So we're working out different ways. We're trying to milk a machine on her, and um, doing it by hand, milk machine and hand. And we found out it's best just to do it by hand, since it's only her. So what we do is we get all the tucker up, we tie it all up, and put it up on her stall that I made. Yes, the hobby farmer can make things. He's fucking talented, that bastard. So we put her into here and lock her into her place and uh, we get her milking away. So, but we found out that um, she wasn't letting the milk down some days and that's because, just wait a sec darling, because when we pulled her out, we pulled her out, we put her straight on the milking bay. And where is it, you got it? So we put her straight on the milking bay and she wanted to have a shit and piss first. So now we let her, let her out to let her have a shit and a piss first and then we do the milking. But then trying to catch the bitch. So we're learning every day. So now we have the extra rope. The extra rope we tie onto her collar. We let her go off and have a piss and shit and she's easy to catch. So we're learning guys, every day is learning. What? 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 You. <laughs> Alright, let me get in here and give chick a hand. Come on, big girl. Come on. Up. <laughs> oh, you stop eating them. Hey, hey, stop, stop, hey, here. 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 Block. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's always a bitch to get in. I was not like the cows, when we had cows in our younger days when we used to milk them, is they knew they knew exactly what was going on. It's like, oh, here we go, we're going to go in the bowl, we're going to get a bucket of tucker, and uh, he's going to play with me titties, molest me. And they used to, you know, you just walk out, they'll look at you, and I just walk straight into their bale. They knew each one, knew exactly which bale they had to go to. Fucking weird shit. But the goats, they're as dumb as dumb, I tell you. They're as dumb as fucking southerners. You know? Oh, right. Well, I'm going to clean her up. I've got the hot water here, hot water in the rag. So I'm going to clean her up, get her going, and hopefully we'll get about two bottles out of it for um for uh, the babies, which we'll give to these guys over here. And the reason we're doing this is because her babies are sold, and she's a, an incredible milk producer, this one. 
She's an incredible milk producer. And we don't want mastitis to go into her, so that's why we milk them and give it to the youngers. The younglings. Right, I'm gonna get into it. It's always, it's always hard to get going, she is. She doesn't, she doesn't like reducing the milk, reducing the milk straight away. Hey, baby. Uh, ah. <laughs> ah! Don't waste it. Ow! Now it's, uh, it has milk. Right, so that's Molly done. So her titties are actually getting better now. As in, when they get the mastitis in on their titties, now you trolls listen very hard because I know you love listening to me talk about molestering goats, you dirty little fucking trolls here. Sickos is on their titties, with, if you start to get, um, if they're not being milked because they're, they're, they're something wrong with their kid or whatever, it is, it's like having a big disc inside the titty that runs actually body lengthwise inside. And when you feel it, it's actually rock hard. You know, it's absolutely like, it's, She's good, her titties have gone back to normal now because her baby's down. But um, this one here, she had mastitis, this one. You can see it's still, she's got one titty, the other one's little on this side. What is, it's like inside, it's like a big hard disc, believe it or not. And um, you can actually feel it, you know, on one half of the titty on the left hand side or the right hand side. And it's really hard, you know, it's, it's, it's just like a, a disc, like I said, it can be up to two, three inches thick. You know, and it tapers on the ends like a disc, and uh, you feel that, and it's like, oh, that's not good. So you got to, you got to try and milk it out, massage them, massage them. You sit there for an hour if you have to, just massage them to try and get that milk flowing. So otherwise, they get the mastitis and they uh, lose their tits and they die. So um, with her, with Molly, she st just started to grow the disc, and you could feel it the last couple of days. So that's why we got stuck into her on the milking, and uh, each day I just just keep massaging that disc and milking at the same time and uh today it's all gone so her titties are all back to normal and we only got one bottle of milk out of it today with the other days we've got two and plus out of her so uh she's going very well so i'm quite pleased so we're not going to milk her tomorrow but we will keep an eye on her just to see if she's okay and uh it's, like I said, it's just looking at that disc in the tit you know it's either the left tit or the right tit and the one thing i found is um with molly hers is the left one they, they're not both the same. And the other one, whose one was affected, was the right tip. You know, and even though we used to sit there with um, with bacon fat, you sit there with bacon fat and massage your tits for like an hour at a time, trying to get that mastitis going. It just we just wouldn't wouldn't work. Just wouldn't work. She ended up um, she lost the nipple off her tit, and of course all the uh, tits stayed the same. But uh, we'll sell her as a uh, meat goat. That's what we'll do with her. But Molly, she's no problem now. Her titties are back to normal. So all you trolls out there, relax. The titties are still okay. Okay, okay, okay. You fucking trolls, you. Hey, young un. Right. Well, we've got work to do now, so I've got to take everything back. This from the um, milking machine we used yesterday. Hot water. So Chick's got the snacks. Snacks for the bottles, babies. Right, so I'm gonna go in, gonna go and have some breakfast. Then we get all that corn down the front, all those bags. So I've taken three wheelbarrow loads down that was in the um, tarpaulin here, but it just doesn't dry as good as the cement. And I've got one, two, three up the back, and one there four. So I've got four bags there that um, we're gonna take down and stick on the cement. So I'll have Bricky, and I'll um, I'll see you after breakfast, guys. Cause we're farmers, hobby farmers. We do it right. We do it the first time. Right. So we got how many? Let's see. We gotta get five, six sacks down, hunt. So we got six sacks down here. I'll tell you what. Fucking heavy bastards. Too. I tell you. Tick had to do a lot of lifting. <laughs> so on the concrete is much better drier, of course. Now some top places around here, they'll do it on the concrete road, and I'll just dry them all along the concrete road. So all the vehicles on the public road so someone will do, you drive on one hand one side of the road only up and down in thailand they do that for the rice out in the province as well they do that for the rice and um up at um kolat uh nachong rachisima um kunkin kunkin and i remember one day is they'll join the rice along the road and they must have had 100 meters of rice on along the side of the road all drying off and I left it overnight because of beautiful hot weather. And when they come back the next morning, it was all gone. 
Someone stole the fucking lot, swept it all up, packaged it up, and gone. Fucking assholes out there. All right, so what we do is we draw it down onto here. Now, this is the big rake we got. When we used to have the 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 backyard used to be all full of those fucking a cow, the chocolates. What do you call them? Chocolate? Cacao. Cacao. It was full of those. And, of course, they just give thousands and thousands of lease. And so we were raking it up every day. That's why I got pissed off. I just cut the whole fucking lot out. Just give me the shit. So we bought this big ass rake. And uh, we haven't used it for a couple of years, but now for the corn, it's absolutely perfect because it's heavy duty and um, it spreads the corn absolutely gorgeous, darling. But I've got the blower here because what I've got to do is if you see here in some of them, see it's got all this, all this dusty shit here, look, see that? <sighs> so what I'll do is I get the blower and I just give it a blow and it just lightly takes it all off. See it all here, look? All this light shit. <sighs> So I'll give it a blow down. I remember when I'd done this a year or so ago, someone said to me, you know, you don't dry corn by hitting it with a corn blower. Well, dicks, I'm not fucking drying corn. I'm blowing all the stems and the parts of the leaves of the corn and uh, all that. So I'm blowing all that away. And you'll see it actually, it's actually like a snowstorm, actually. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hmm, so she's leaving a two foot... So I, don't, I think she's forgotten what two foot is. You know? There's, um, Hold there's, this. There's a... Uh, okay, I'll go on over here. See, see this big bit? Yeah. Look at that. Look, look at that. Mm. Push it in, darling. Push it in hard. You heard that before? You ever said that? Push it in hard, darling? <laughs> no? No. No? Oh. See here, look. Push it in hard. I... I didn't, I wanted to do that, but I wanted to establish like the edges oh, first. Don't bullshit a bullshit a darling. <laughs> Fuck my dog. Yeah, because I wanted to give the two, two feet clearance just so when the chicken scratch, it won't really go. Remember before it grows in the edges? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, that's my reason. These blew a hell of a lot out, just like um, snowflakes, like snowflakes. So, Tick's going in to get the broom, she wants to blow it back on. If it was me, I'd just go around the outside with a blow and blow it. I'll do that while she's in there, that will fuck her. Big bits that come off, guys. Look, see, all these ones come off. Look at it all. They go through the cracker, and um, it just contaminates the the good corn. It's all shit. Heaps here. Look, look at it all. So the boa does its job very good. But I do that a couple of times a day on the blower. And. There, baby. Yeah. Look, we're blowing out. That fuck is sweeping up, isn't it? You always think primitive. Oh.
that got it up. So what we'll do, we'll leave this out, come back at uh, before lunch, we'll give it another rake over and another blow down and I'll uh, leave it for the rest of the afternoon. We'll be right then. Oh, so this is the old house for you who don't know. Oh. Now look at this, it's even got a tile floor, roof, eh? The old hovel didn't even have that before the storm. And no roof, no tiles. Look at this old fucking place, would you? Ah, oh, right. It was a coconut harvest. So we used to uh, used to buy coconuts. Got for people take it to the factory. She had a license to do it all. Right. That's us, guys. It's been a busy morning, so I think it's time to go and have a coffee and just relax up and rest the old belly. I think. What do you think, baby doll? Goat food. Oh, well, lucky I brought the barrow down for you. <laughs> Get fucked, she says. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe, or buy. Remember, thank you for all you guys who supported us with all the kitties. And thanks for the trolls for mentioning us on their channels as being e-begging pedophiles. That's something, something I haven't been called before is an e-begging pedophile because we help the kids. But... There's always the thanks button you can hit, guys. Come on, you trolls, you can do it. Come on, you little fucking trolls, you. Bye-bye, oh. <laughs> guys.